new information tonight on a hostage bomb threat in Fairfield County that turned out to be a hoax. 10 TV has uncovered an identical prank in Indiana. Investigators say they're confident it's the same caller. 10 TV's Maureen Kosad obtained both 911 calls so you can listen for yourself as the suspect unleashes chaos on two unsuspecting families. On Sunday, March 23rd, SWAT officers surrounded a home in Millersport after a man called 911 demanding money and claiming he had hostages and explosives. The entire ordeal turned out to be a prank. 10DV did some digging and a simple Google search revealed an almost identical hoax on February 16th in Zionsville, Indiana. Listen first to the 911 call made to sheriff's dispatchers in Indiana. I have three hostages, four assault rifles. And I have explosives all around my house, and I want a hundred make egg and a tear custard bag sent to my door with an unarmed officer. Compare that to the 911 call received in Fairfield County. A hundred thousand dollars in a clear plastic bag delivered by one armed, unarmed officer. And in both calls, the prankster sets a deadline. Indiana. We have 45 minutes. Ohio. We have 30 minutes. Otherwise, I'll kill everybody. Investigators call it swatting, fake 911 calls that send SWAT teams to the homes of unsuspecting innocent people. Investigators say many of the culprits are calling 911 via Skype. Now that makes it more difficult to trace the call because it can be made using free public Wi-Fi using an IP address that's assigned to many users in one day. But investigators tell 10 TV they have the technology to lead them to the person who created this chaos. It's complicated. It's uh, it's difficult, but I think we do have the ability to do that. Investigators hope they track the suspect soon before another innocent family is targeted. Maureen Kosat, 10 TV News. Columbus SWAT officers say they also responded to a swatting incident in November. That call also turned out to be a hoax.